This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Lee Craig back with, with us, and really you're back with us because it's been a few years since uh, you've been able to do this huge event people look forward to. It is. It's been a fair few years, Kathy. We'd had almost all our supplies set up. I had to go through them there a couple months ago to see where we were even at. I couldn't remember what we had from what we needed. That's so right. Yeah, it's been a while. We're talking about the Mystical Ball for children mm -hmm. uh, in Smith Falls and area too, and you had it how many years? 28? 2019? Correct, yep, That's two years, right. and then 2020 with everything we got postponed. That's right, so it's back this year. It is. All right, so yeah. you've got a special theme? We do, superheroes this year. I think it's kind of fitting, even though we'd picked it before COVID, that now we've picked, it's still superheroes, and so many heroes we've had in our community to get us through COVID, so it's kind of fitting. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So let's talk about the event, too. Let's talk about the past events, what okay. were their themes, and uh, how did they go? 2018, we had Joe and Angie from Canadian Tire that joined with us to do this event and they come up with a great theme pirates and pixies and then the next year we did under the sea to try and redo some of our decorating things and that we could reuse so this and then this year superheroes trying to keep them kid oriented what's fun for them absolutely and i mean in terms of i, I was at both of those yes in you terms have, of, you've been wonderful at, at, in terms of decorating oh my goodness you are amazing at decorating I, you wouldn't even know it's the hall that you're going into no it's quite a transformation and we we overdid it the second year chris had big ideas we didn't quite get it all blue under the see but i think pretty much everybody got the picture <laughs> yeah, absolutely yeah. absolutely yes yeah. for sure but this year it's superheroes it is and it is on march no sorry april april 15th april 15th from one to four and you've already started selling tickets yes we have all yep. right so any tickets that we sold for 2020 um between us and the buck or two across the road here we probably sold about a do two dozen so they will be honored they don't have to come and get replacements just bring those tickets and then Christine at Bucker 2 is, and RCL were selling tickets again. Excellent, excellent. So let's talk about the day. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I can't even imagine what your decorating uh, is going to be like. <laughs> but you walk into the hall at the Gallipo Centre, and this year it's going to be uh, superheroes. Yes. And let's talk about, you've got how many different stations and We have about and... 11 different stations, uh, four craft, uh, three games, and then of course we have face painting and Tammy's nails is coming again for nails, and then we have a superhero hired to come and do a th corner for us, and he's going to do about a 90-minute show with obstacles, courses, and things, superhero training, he says, because we've had Pirate Mike the last two years, but Pirate Mike isn't really a superhero, so we thank him for the two years, but we wanted to try and make sure it all blended together. And our superhero is a surprise. It we is a surprise. Yes. I hummed and hawed, but I thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun to have a surprise. The kids will be excited not knowing who's, who's walking in. And our good friend Johnny Five? He's going to be there. He's going to be dressed as a superhero too, I'm sure. I don't recall which one he told me, but he'll be creating some entertainment and some fun dancing for the kids. He always does too. He does, He's yeah. great with the kids. Oh, he's he great is, with yeah. The kids. And really, like, what are the times that you're going to be 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. I mean, you could keep busy the whole time you're there too. Oh, you are. Yes. Yeah. And we, the first year we did it, we thought, okay, people will come and they'll go through and spend an hour and leave. Mm -hmm. But it seems they, you know, they stay, they'll sit and have a few munchies and then they'll go back and do another craft a game and yeah they tend to stick around that's right go yeah. dance with Johnny that's for right a while and then yeah, back again back again now I, you've had food there too so yeah foods and drinks so yeah we'll have be... food and drinks and, and sweets yep excellent now how come you picked superhero uh, after the second year we just sat down with some ideas and superheroes always seem to be something that relates well with kids and so we just picked that hero and set our mind to it and started searching for ideas and games and and I mean, what a great idea. The children can come dressed up. Parents we, and grandparents We encourage too. them dress, <laughs> dressed up. And you know, really, the, past, the previous two years, most of the parents were dressed too. Like, it's, it's exciting to see everybody get into it. I mean, like, they, I know it's not much for the parents, but they, you know, they get to see and enjoy some time with their, with their kids and have fun and can't help but see all the smiles on their faces. So <laughs> I get another day's wear out of their Halloween costume That's as right. Well. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. Now, you've always, this is a fundraiser. It is. It is a fundraiser for the food bank. It is. That yeah, is. all our ticket sales go directly to the food bank. Everything that we've done in there for crafts and games and all our decorating is sponsored by businesses and organizations in the community that we've reached out and asked for help. That's right, and uh, the, the, our food bank here in Smith Falls is near and dear to you and your husband Chris's it heart is. because you uh, yep. coordinate the build amount of food as well. Yep, we. Ooh, I'm going to say 10 years ago we started helping Huey do it and then it just got bigger and then when he couldn't do it anymore, Chris just stepped up and took over the build amount of food program and 
and I joined the board in 2017 to, to do my help where I could and time I had. So yeah, we, we enjoy doing it. And we know the importance of our food bank. It is, it's very important. And when, there's, when you have family members or know of people that have used it, you want to do it. And it is, and in our, in our Smith Falls, our numbers are high that it's, you know, it's more children that are affected. So that's, we really do it for the kids. Kids don't have choices. So, you know, you want to see them succeed and be able to go to school and concentrate on school with having some food. That's right. That's right. Now your event is in April, but March is nutrition month. It, yeah, oh, coincidentally too. So, <laughs> so this is a great time you're being here. It to, is. To do yeah, we try and too. do April because it's kind of, you yeah. know, it's not busy into summer yet with mm -hmm. activities. So it seems to be a good time to do it. We get busy come summer. So that's right. Yeah. That's right. So let's say, say the time and the dates again. April 15th, the Saturday from one to four at the Gallipo Ballroom. And the tickets are available? Yep, $12 a pre-sale at RCL Automotive and Bucker 2. Are you still looking for any sponsors or? Uh, I have reached out to a few. If, if there is anybody, we'd be more than willing because costs obviously Absolutely. for everything has gone up. Um, and we did have to hire the superhero this year, unfortunately. But uh, we, yeah, we always, we will never say no. We, you know, if somebody wants to help in any way, even if somebody wants to volunteer, it is, uh, this year, I do have a few students that have stepped up when I reached out to the school, which is the first since our first year, um, to volunteer, which is great because my daughter was in high school, so it was always easier to get volunteers with her friends, and now she's gone away to college, so you lose that connection. But yeah, anybody wants to reach out to me, that would be wonderful. We uh, never say no. <laughs> and all the money then uh, could, instead of you having to uh, concur any cost, can yes. go to the food bank. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, I thank you very much. Oh, for, you're for welcome. We here. appreciate I, you helping us, Kathy. I, and your daughter, Ross, who's always been uh, helpful. She's yeah. off at college, she university? She is, yeah. So she won't, she'll miss it. She's not home till the following weekend. We'll go and pick her up in Sudbury and move right. her home. Yeah, she's not like just in Ottawa or Kingston. No. She's in Sudbury. Sudbury. How's Bit she doing? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, good. She's looking forward to it being done and getting back. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way. <laughs> it is. It is a long way. Yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Well, thank you very much for Thanks, coming Kathy, here. For Again, our, our mystical ball on April 15th. We're going to have a great time bringing our children out. Bring Get your yes. costumes out. Get Par your costumes. Everybody get your costumes Parents, out. Parents, grandparents, everybody. Oh, yes. We see everybody. <laughs> it's wonderful. That's great. Thanks for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, Kathy.